Primary C4 the video starts with the same video. So now subscribe, subscribe, and enjoy the video. So, today, so part one is in the channel. So if you want to go watch part one of, of this, then go watch it down in the description down below. And if you want to know why I'm about kitties, then in part one, start of the video, you can see what I mean of kit. So these games have been chosen. By me, hard decision because part two. I wasn't gonna do part two, but I seen that these games haven't gotten no love, or they've been going down for no for some reason. And those games are getting pretty. They're getting so good that I don't know why it doesn't get support or anything. But I'm here giving the support that it needs and it deserves. So yeah. Anyways, so yeah, these games have been here for a while there's gonna be some games that are the same some games that are not the same so so yeah so anyways let's get right into the video so number 10 we have stinky now stinky just like came out you know what i mean right now right now what you need to work on is the details on the on the game you know, it doesn't have that much detail it's just like a pure map you just go and there's like it's very open you just gotta walk and you don't if there's not that much stuff there it's just literally car uh, random cars everywhere pretty <laughs> pretty cool this game and this game can be changed and stuff and yeah by the way this there's going to be the same ones here or there might be different ones because they should deserve to be here and everything every single person deserves some love so yeah anyways moving on to number nine we got cheesy now cheesy just came out came out a while ago i don't know and i played it it's pretty interesting i like it but the the stores are pretty cool it's like a like a mall and you go inside there there's like stores and inside there's a lot of they put a lot of detail on the stores you know that they try their hardest on the on the game it's pretty amazing though it looks pretty amazing from the inside awesome interior everything then they tread hardest on their keys even though that they haven't put it in the right way looks pretty amazing like it it's pretty nice anyways and the skins are pretty good you can as you can see they're, they're not that bad they're, they're pretty decent they're pretty decent yeah but right now i think for this until they build chapter two they deserve a nine anyways Move on to number eight. We got we got Slotty. Now Slotty just got a huge revamp. It came from normal piggy body to to kitty animated version. Pretty nice, and I still love the game. I still play every time he tells me there's an update because yes, it's pretty fun. It's pretty entertaining, and yeah, I like it. And I'll be still be playing it until <laughs> yeah, I don't want it anymore. But still, it's pretty amazing. Uh, I'm, I'm ready for the future of this game because I know this game could grow and be a, a favorite game for, for a lot of people that love P Kitty. That's what it gives me vibes from. That's where it reminds me from every time I play this game. So yeah, anyways, this yeah, this is just number 8. So then we go to number 7. We got Back. No Back. I love it from everywhere. I love the characters. The skins, you see, they, they work their hardest on the skins. You can see already... Their, their skins are pretty good. If you've seen that, their shop, they have pretty good skins. You can't lie about it. They work hard on it, and I'm ready for the upcoming for the upcoming chapters for this game because this game is pretty good. Yeah, but you know, I like they need like a work up on some. Just need like make it like you know, a vibe. I mean, it's already a bite, but like more like more make it interesting. I think they will. And it is interesting, just that you know, you gotta find this mission, do this, this, and this, and it's like pretty amazing. Anyways, I still think it's a it's, it's gonna get a number seven because yes, people they do try. I see they try the hardest on their maps, and I, every time I get a map, it gets pretty hard. But it's still it's still pretty fun to play. I would actually play it, and I will request to play it as well. It's pretty fun. Anyways, let's go to number six. Number six, we have Dubla. I mean Dromo. Dromo. Dromo is like this lit game. 
this is like games the only problem I have is that the maps are so big and there's not that much detail in any and in, in all in none of the maps but it, it's pretty interesting and pretty nice as well now it has bot mode and all that stuff with the new stuff that people have been making now these games have bot mode some of them probably after yeah in this video my almost half of them will have bot mode because yeah that's what it needs and uh, yeah and this guy is talented this guy was the one who made a skin on me it was pretty cool i respect that guy for i respect him for it still i still think though it deserves a number six so yeah anyways let's get right into number five number five we have Duba not Duba reborn it was called Duba but then it got a huge revamp now it's Duba reborn because this guy took his time Make the max the, the best he can, and look at this. It looks so good. I'm really hyped for chapter two that comes about comes out pretty soon. So yeah, I'm pretty hyped. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> the map itself is so great. It's great. The skins are pretty good too. You can see that he actually worked on it, and then the story it gets it starts getting pretty interesting at the end of it. But when there's cutscenes and everybody starts doing cutscenes, bro, everything's gonna be a whole another level. Awesomeness, and I'll be like, which one is gonna be? Which one's gonna be number three, one, two? Like, these games can grow very fast, just by not doing nothing, just by doing like a cutscene or something. Anyways, let's get right into number four. Number four, we have sketching now. Sketching has been getting some stuff that has been happening, saying this and that. I'm not gonna talk about it in this video. This is gonna be a top ten video, so yeah, I'm not gonna talk about it. But just saying. I like the map and I like the skins and stuff. So this was sketchy. It was was made or was remade from the mini the mini tune game he mini tune made. The sketchy for its birthday. They remade it and made it pretty different, but it still gets a lot of controversy. If you have if you watch the recent videos, because there's been some stuff happening, but still. I still think this game deserves a number four because yeah, it's been played by YouTubers and the skins are pretty interesting. So yeah, I'm not gonna get into detail what's happening, but yeah, it deserves a number four. And number three, we have Kawi. Now Kawi has been recently been losing players for no reason. I don't know, but I know for for sure that this update that comes out for it, it would change the game forever, and might make it go very up. May might be at number two. Like, you never know, because this guy is talented in every way. I've seen that man do, I've seen him do everything. Like, he can do art, that guy can do can do skins, he can do, he can do maps, he can do, oh my god. That guy, is, he's so talented. His maps are pretty good, and then when he makes stories, he makes the stories going to be so good. And when there's a, there's a way to get cutscenes, it would be 10 times better. So yeah, I request that this game is number two for that reason. But anyways, let's get right into number two. Yeah, but yeah, like you're gonna be like, well, bro, why is this game a number two, not a number one? Well, Sans is a number two because copyright, <laughs> copyright. But don't worry, I know it has events, and I will be playing it when um, they do another one for sure. Because I missed the first one for no for some reason, but and 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 the best part of this is that the, this guy this guy remade the maps. He remade he remade chapter one, chapter two, and he's probably gonna do three in the rest. But I don't know. I still like the game though. It came from nothing, and now it's one of the popular game for popular games in my opinion. And I still love the sands sand sands. I still love it. And the the good they do good collabs with the good games or small games and try to get them get bigger again. That's a good thing of that game too. That's why I love it. I still I still enjoy playing it a lot. Anyways, anyways for num that's why there's a number two. But probably it could get to number one for sure. It was gonna get it, but. A new game came out that actually took took away the number one spot, and yeah, and that's what we're talking about today. For number one, we have Cocoa 2. 
Yes, Coco at two. I know it just came out two days ago because I'm doing it in two days ago video. The video just come it just came out two days ago. But it has a lot of a lot of a lot of stuff that I haven't seen people doing yet. Like example, have you seen uh Elvin Blonsk with 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 a weapon as a knife and they change skins? No, I haven't seen that. These guys took came from Cocoa One and then did a Cocoa Reborn, they learned their lesson from using models and they and they remade everything by themselves, tried their hardest. I, I've been I, I was there since since the oldest Cocoa ever. And I saw these guys grow and they learned a lesson after Cocoa Reborn. And now they have Cocoa too and look at this. Look at this. No no problems, no nothing. It's better than ever. So the reason why this game to number one is because these guys didn't know what to do before. But they start and they kept working, kept working, kept working. Their hardest to try to find the best the best to try to find a, a, a way out of not getting their game bugs and stuff. And they and now they learn they learn from using models and kids. And after that they learned and they now know how to make a now how to make the game professional and great. The map is so good. I like the map. And they even made their own their own keys, hammers, and I don't know what else, but yeah, the game is pretty good. I respect it, and I and I give huge respects to the developers because uh, I I I seen how they went how they went through all of this. Have they been through all of this? And yeah, I hope this game grows. Because it's pretty cool that a game with a with a huge uh, with with just a kid can can do a lot of stuff. But yeah, this game deserves pretty good respect, and I respect these guys for it. So anyway, anyways, I guess like and subscribe. Enjoy this top ten video because there's another one coming out tomorrow, or hopefully. So yeah, anyways, I hope you guys like and subscribe. Enjoy this video, and goodbye, guys.